look at that sunset and look that's at those fiddlers. It's a sunrise. Or a sunrise. Yeah. Sun I don't know what day, what time. Well, that's I don't probably know sun. Where we're at. There's some of our. Is that not creepy or what? We're gonna it's fiddle in a bag. We're gonna fiddle today. We didn't have our bucket, so James put them in a bag for us. Thanks, James. Put them right up there. We'll put them. We'll put them. Ooh, that's creepy. That is. Right there. And that is where we are going to be fishing. Starting off this morning. Be a beautiful. The greatest show on water. It is. We need some music. We need to come up with Wait some kind of. Um, no. <laughs> You can't do that. Paul's gonna turn his radio on, but he doesn't realize if he turns his radio on, there'll be a copyright violation against my video, oh. and I won't be able to. Uh, but anyway, that's a good try, Paul. Anyway, we're gonna try for some sheep's head this morning. So let's see. We ain't trying. We're doing. We are confident again. We're catching. Today's a confident day. Period. Got my hat on. It's got his hat on. We got a new anchor. Paul is straight. Chain. All his coffee. He's ready. Looks red. First thing I caught, guys. A red. It's a tiny baby red fish. Look at how pretty the colors. That is gorgeous. On that little dude. Awesome. Paul has fished. Oh, yes. Fish, netted the fish, and I'm gonna eat this one. Laid and ate the fish. There he is. Ooh, what is this? Look at them teeth. Smile. Don Knox. Well, it's been a little while. There's another guy. We've only caught like three or four. That's about it. Three. It's been slow, but the tide's getting ready to start going out. So we feel hopeful. How do you feel, Paul? I feel hopeful. I feel hope Chris has another one. Is this gonna be a master? No. Little guy. Little guy? That's a start again. Well not a start, it's the middle. I call him LG. Little guy. Little guy. Where you going? We live? Are we live? Slow going, guys. Paul making things happen. He's not going to wait uh -uh. for things to happen. He's going to make a trout. He's going to make a trout. Yes. Well, I'm getting another fish right now. Got it. You got it? Yeah. Go back in there, bud. <laughs> it's a pinfish. Hello, girl. I'm sorry, folks. I have a breakfast bar in my mouth. Oh. What kind of three stooges kind of noise was that? <laughs> you had all See these, that cast, folks? You've had all these catch, bites. Catch another fish. Right here. Just a matter of, actually, I'm going to say one minute or less, I'll have a fish. There he is. <laughs> oh, you know, he's calling his shots. I'm calling him. Trout. There he is, a minute or less. Different size and more promising fish. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna throw this one more time. That looks like a redfish. Oh, it just turned into a a magical fish. It turned right into a trout. I'm not a good cameraman. Is that gonna be a keeper? No. It's gonna be a little trout, little guy. Even smaller than the ones you were catching. I wasn't gonna say that. Like that while you're reeling in the end. Hey guys! Look at that. <laughs> hey, I'm over here! Look at the spines on him. Now that's a good eating fish right there. Just the, this part here, the tail. 
Okay, that's a close up of a blowfish. Oh, look at him, wave goodbye. That's my wife. Okay, we'll give her that one. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. I'm real on the impulse fish, his wife's on the line. This is a huge fish. Hello? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm glad I caught that one. With my own line. Oh. And then I uh, bought me a couple of Supreme. Yeah. That's a little change. Oh, that's something nice. From a Pinto to a Cutlass, to a VW Bug to a Cutlass. Well, then I caught a, or caught, I had a 69 GTO. It's kind of going backwards, aren't you? Yeah. You should have started with this. Thunder! Not big enough, but. I've caught in quite the species today. Quite. But you know what? That's the fun of fishing out here, Chris. That you just don't know what you're going to catch. No, you never know. You just, I mean, you're liable to catch a blowfish. Everything from a catfish to a tarpon. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Folks, it is a beautiful day out here. Very pleasant. Oh. See, Chris lives in Georgia, or lived in Georgia his whole life, and we already said that. I've only been down here a year, and I'm still just soaking in the, uh, the, the water, the beauty, the beauty of this place, the Georgianess, the Georgianess, the coastal area. If you haven't moved down here yet, you might want to. Let's just put it that way. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. There's All no my reason. friends from Indiana, come on no down. All my Indiana Hoosiers, come on down. Oh! All the Buckeye friends that I got, come on down. I do have friends that live you people up. from Michigan. Well, you stay where you're at. <laughs> that anchor chain has, it's a game changer. I have not, we have not slipped yet. I've been trying to tell Paul for a year. Woo! Fish on, right by the boat. Ladyfish? Trout. Trout fish. Why are they right here? They're like Nemo, they want to touch the boat. Yes. I've been trying to get Paul to get an anchor. I mean a anchor chain, chain on his anchor for like a year. And every time he anchors, the anchor comes loose, and he goes, I don't know why the anchor comes loose. And I would say, Paul, you need what? What do you need, Paul? The uh, chain. Anchor chain without all that plastic coating on, on your it. anchor. And Paul would go, yeah, maybe. And then Paul would say, maybe I need a new boat. Yeah. And I would be like, no. Well, has nothing to do with the boat. These fish are right by the boat. You need an anchor chain. They don't want to be eaten, they're small. So, with that being said, Chris got me an anchor chain. So I bought him an anchor chain, brought it to his house, mm -hmm. put it in his hand, and said, Paul, put this anchor chain on your anchor. So that's kind of heavy. Yeah. Paul was like, I don't know, it's so heavy. And I'm like, that's why you need this anchor chain on your anchor. Today, we are using the anchor chain for the first time. I'm on my lure. Big trout at. That is a little crazy. Uh oh, what's going on? Yeah, fish off. Now oh, that could be a good one. Double. Double, 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 double. He's a bigger one, but he ain't big enough. What about yours? Same, same. Mm, about the same. Kentucky. I, didn't, I didn't mean anything. I'm just joking. You should make fun of people. You know, I'm joking. When I started uh, dating Tammy, you know, she was from the country. Yeah. Country girl. And you, and you and, but I'm going to tell you what, I knew how to. Uh, Get her mad? I knew what a country girl liked. Ah. Yeah. Attractive. 
a tractor. <laughs> no, not like a tractor. Oh, you attract like you attract her. Oh, you attract. <laughs> yeah, you attract her. No, I wouldn't buy her a tractor. I mean, just because she's from the country. See, that's the kind of thing. Just because she's from the country, don't mean she likes a tractor. I didn't buy her a tractor. Oh, you just no. attract her. No, I got her a uh, four wheeler. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that's, see, that's funny, Paul. It is. See how it's yeah. a tractor, like a and you thought it was a tractor, yeah. but it's a tractor. Oh, yeah, that's a jumping trout. Nice jumping trout. locations and we came up with this little dude nice little redfish look how pretty that one is that's a gorgeous the, fish the colors on that thing beautiful is that 14 and a half 15 yeah about 14 and a half redfish red. man they're beautiful this time of year spectacular looking fish. Oh, man that is a beautiful fish i don't care if he's small he's got more dots than yours so it did I had more dots than Chris. Sometimes in the tournament, it's the dots account. That is, I mean, look at the color. The, like you said, the color's gorgeous. Gold. He ain't big enough, but boy, I wish he was. And Chris told me that black drum will eat. 